Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft have started to roll out this week's latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build. And this week we get build 25247, which they made available on the 18th of November. Now this week we get a jam-packed release with a whole lot of new features, some of which actually rolled out to the beta channel the previous week and last week, which I have posted on. And um, just to dive straight in, because um, there's quite a lot going on this week, and that's because Microsoft says that next week they will not be releasing new builds uh, to Windows Insiders because of the US Thanksgiving holiday. Now, um, just to use a couple of screenshots taken from the release notes, and um, that's just to keep you updated and up to speed as to new features that uh, Microsoft um, is testing in the early preview versions of the Windows 11 operating system. Now, um, the first rolled out to the beta channel a week or two ago, and that's with Windows Studio effects can now be accessed directly from quick settings of the taskbar for devices that have a supported neural processing unit. Um, the, according to Microsoft, this makes it quick and easy to enable and configure camera effects like background blur, eye contact and automatic framing, and also audio effects like voice focus, and apparently you can still access these effects in the settings pages. And then moving on to the next, um, that's energy recommendations, which also rolled out a week or two ago to the beta channel and now, uh, and now are available in the dev channel. They are beginning to roll out energy recommendations under settings, system, power and battery, energy recommendations. And this is where you can review and apply these recommendations to improve the energy efficiency on your PC and reduce your carbon footprint, according to Microsoft. Now, the next couple of screenshots are regarding some new features um, to do with the task manager, which rolled out last week to the beta channel and have now made their way to the dev channel. Now, just to do a quick recap, they are bringing process filtering to the task manager. Now, according to Microsoft, this is actually um, a top feature request from um, users to filter and or search for processes. And you can filter either using the binary name, the process ID or the publisher name. And um, Microsoft says this is a helpful feature if you want to single out a process or a group of processes. And then moving on to the next, um, as mentioned last week, better theme support. They've added the ability to use your preferred theme in the task manager regardless of the active theme in Windows. And then the second last new feature regarding the task manager now also supports themes in in-app dialogues. So all dialogue except for run new task and properties dialogue now support themes and will adhere to either app specific theme or the Windows theme. And then the last new addition to the task manager for this week in the dev channel, um, they are making it easy um, for you to apply efficiency mode and offering the ability to opt out of the confirmation dialog, as we can see in the screenshot. You can make changes on the efficiency mode dialog box by unchecking, don't ask me again, or you can enable and disable it in the settings for the task manager. So a couple of improvements now rolled out to the task manager in build 25247. Now, with the next screenshot, we get the new features available um, to the dev channel that haven't previously rolled out to the beta channel over the last week or two. And the first is um, new suggested action. Now, on copying text with uh, search potential, as we can see, Microsoft mentions that Windows will pop up an inline light dismissible user interface that suggests searching uh, this text in Microsoft Edge. Um, upon user selection of the search action, a new Edge tab is, uh, is launched to search the copied text. And Microsoft mentions that this will initially be available for insiders in the US only at this stage. Now, while we are on the new suggested action, um, another hidden feature has been spotted um, regarding the uh, suggested action in this latest build. Um, and once again, this has been spotted by the Windows enthusiast Phantom of Earth. Now, um, the, the, um, they have discovered that Microsoft is experimenting with additional variants um, of suggested actions that allow search in different browsers. So not only does it seem that um, Microsoft may be bringing um, searching with Edge, but also Google Chrome. And this is a hidden feature, so it's not officially recognized by Microsoft um, in this latest build and not mentioned in the release notes, but is a suggestion that they could be working on this internally. So it looks like we could be getting um, suggested actions and searching that with different browsers. And yeah, we get Google Chrome added to that list as well. And then moving on to the next, um, this is to do with the accounts page. And um, the settings app supports new visuals on the accounts page to 
provide a visual overview of your cloud storage usage across Microsoft products. The new visuals include a consolidated cloud storage bar that shows your storage usage for each product and notifies you if you're running low on storage. And that's according to Microsoft, taken directly from the release notes for this latest dev channel build. And moving on to the next, and this is regarding the start menu. They're working on adding more content to the, rem the recommended section in the start regarding websites. Um, Microsoft says that for the first phase, um, they will recommend common websites based on your region or browsing history. And this can also be controlled by right clicking on a website and choosing to remove that website individually or to stop showing all recommended websites entirely. So now websites becoming part of those recommended um, apps and so on in the start menu in Bolt 25247, which for some I think could be a handy feature in the future. And then this next new feature, show seconds in the system tray clock, I actually posted on this earlier this week, which then was a hidden feature and now has officially started to be tested in this latest dev channel build. And um, in response to user feedback, Microsoft says that they are introducing the capability to show seconds in the clock on the system tray. This feature can be enabled by toggling the option listed under settings, personalization taskbar, as we can see uh, in the taskbar behavior section. And you can also right click on the taskbar um, to quickly get to taskbar settings, as many of you may know. So this now officially recognized um, in this latest build 25247 and could possibly roll out to an up and coming stable version, which is also a highly requested feature, believe it or not, from users of the Windows 11 operating system. And then the Microsoft Store has also received another update where um, apparently, if we just zoom in here, so I don't know if you can actually see it in the video, but um, jump back to key pages you visited or found a fun new page or game via the taskbar just list. Now that's what it says in the release notes, but basically, according to Microsoft, you can now get handy shortcuts to departments department pages in the store as well as products you have recently visited all by right clicking on the store taskbar icon so that might be quite useful if you are um, using a lot of different features in the microsoft store and then just head into the last new feature and the second last screenshot now i actually posted on this um a week or two ago and this was also a hidden feature in an earlier preview build and now has become officially um, available in build 25247 where the go back to an earlier build when you roll back to an earlier version of Windows. This is how it um, currently looks uh, in Windows 11, the old so-called Windows 8 legacy menu. And this is what it looks like now in build 25247 and which has now officially received a visual makeover where they uh, go back to an earlier build, now gets a more fluent kind of design, a more a modern minimal look to match the look and feel of Windows uh, 11. So that's more or less um, just some of the key highlights that have rolled out uh, in this latest Dev Channel Insider Preview build for this week, build 25247. And as I always mention, with a lot of these new features that Microsoft does test in the Dev Channel, um, it doesn't mean that because they are available in the dev channel that they will roll out to an up and coming stable version but nonetheless just to keep you up to speed and up to date as to some possible features that could possibly make their way to another and an upcoming version of windows 11. so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one